When I was in sixth grade, my mom had breast cancer. Um, when she had chemotherapy treatment, she used to go and have the nuclear pharmacist come in and administer the drug. So it kind of sparked my interest from there. Tyler McGee is a third year pharmacy student at the Medical University of South Carolina. Tyler and his classmate, Ryan Rosenblatt, have reached the part of pharmacy school where students see patients in clinical settings. A big part of being a pharmacist is understanding the medications and understanding you know, how they're made, how they're manufactured, how they work in the body. But a big part of clinical practice is making those judgment calls. Their judgment calls, like choosing the right drug and dosage, have profound effects on patients. Why are we choosing this? What can we use better? What evidence can support why we're using this? I'm connected with Dr. James Sterrett, and he, he's become a mentor for me and also a uh, preceptor. Hey, Dr. Sterrett, I just wanted to call in and uh, ask you a question. I have a patient to review with you. Okay, go ahead. A preceptor is an experienced medical professional who supervises and guides pharmacy students through clinical practice. Dr. James Sterrett is a preceptor for dozens of students at MUSC, including Tyler and Ryan. So precepting is all about, all right, what did you learn? And then what's the next step? What do you want to do now, right? That's the question that after they provide me with the information, I give them an opportunity. Uh, she has past medical history of hypertension, which is currently controlled, and type 2 diabetes. If they don't say the right thing, I'm going to have to say, well, this is probably the best opportunity right here, and I'm going to provide them with that background. So now I want you to think about that insight precepting and think, can you do it utilizing telehealth technologies? Telehealth is the delivery of healthcare over a distance through technology. So the Telepreceptor program has actually been fantastic. Um, you know, in an ideal world, we would have the resources to put a clinical pharmacist at each one of our sites. But you know, with that not being the case anywhere, having students on site allows their preceptor to be in one spot and be able to precept multiple students in, in remote locations. MUSC partnered with Better Healthcare to place pharmacy students in clinics in underserved parts of the Low Country. One of the, the cool things for students is that they want to be with the patients, right? Instead of being in the classroom, once they get that skill set, they want to go out and actually make a difference in patient lives. Okay, great. I think he's been tolerating injecting himself really well. The program allows 22 students per year to get real world training earlier in their career. So I go to the clinic once a week for a few hours and see patients, uh, talk to them about their disease states like hypertension and diabetes, try to help them make sense of their medicine, try to make sure that everybody's on the same page communicating with them. You get questions that you're not sure about, okay, this person has a certain disease state with this medication on board, we're not sure if that's really gonna be the next go-to, what, what medication would you choose and what would you think is appropriate? But if I ever came up to a clinical situation that I was not comfortable making a recommendation, I would reach out to Dr. Sarah as a preceptor through telehealth. And telehealth allowed us to quickly video chat and talk about the patient. On some occasions, if I needed to, I could bring him in with the patient and he could see them and interview them, You know, ask the questions maybe I forgot to ask or make sure I asked them appropriately. That way we don't have the one pharmacist traveling to every one of our clinics. Um, because he's also got other responsibilities as well. He can sit in his office at MUSC and precept students that are 50 miles away, and they have the same face-to-face -face interactions they would if he was there in the room. Through telehealth, Sterrett can provide the care patients need while teaching students how to do the same. He'll always preface it with, well, what do you think and why do you think that? So he's just there to give us that supporting evidence in case we don't have the right answer or the appropriate answer. Sterrett says autonomy in the clinic builds students' confidence while still providing the assistance they need. It's super empowering. I know that I've gone out to these clinics and, and definitely felt like I need to get as far along as I can and you know rely on myself, but having that resource available where if I'm stumped, he's just a phone call away. Skype call, I guess, is kind of what it's like. It's really nice to know that if I do get stumped or if I do run into a patient that's difficult or somebody that really needs to have the professional touch, that he's there. 